Hey, what's up, kids? So let's talk about affiliates, all right? Question comes up frequently in our mastermind. It also comes up in this group quite a bit. Like, what about affiliates? How to do them? Should we do them? Should you do them? And there's lots of views about affiliates. Okay, first of all, let me just kind of define what an affiliate program is if you're not quite sure. It's super simple. Basically, an affiliate program is where somebody who's got a product or service is allowing you to talk it up and sell it for them for a commission. Simplest way to say it. Or if you had a product or service, what's up, CN? Awesome to see you. Or if you have a product or service and you want to get it out there and market it more, you could create an affiliate program or your product or service software, done for you service, mastermind, online e-learning course, whatever, could be marketed and talked up by somebody else. A simple example of this is like when you are interviewed on a podcast and you can tell the podcast host, hey, I'm going to I want to talk about my product or service, and if you'll drop this link and, and push it out there to your people, you know, I'll give you a, an affiliate link and an affiliate pay plan or a commission for sharing your information. Okay, so that's affiliates. It's really simple. It's just letting people sell your stuff or you selling other people's stuff for them. Now, yes, there's a little nuances in and out of how that works and how to set it up and all that kind of stuff. Bottom line is affiliates aren't good or bad, they're just a way to market, right? So you can pay, in theory, Facebook or Google to run ads for you, and you can pay an affiliate that owns an audience that has access to an email list or their podcast or whatever platform they have to basically be that ad system for you, and you pay them a commission of what they sell versus Facebook ads, for instance, you just pay to run the ad to bring people to your landing page, something like that. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with affiliates, all right? It just comes down to personal preference and how does that impact your brand, okay? So for me, and this is just answering questions that pop up about affiliates, I'm just trying to get down to the root of this and ask questions as you need to. I've got like 10 minutes today, um, so I wanna make sure I, I really handle this if I can. If we need to answer more questions another day, I can. So. For me, the affiliate thing, I, I'm a pretty skeptical person, okay? You know, I've been in marketing a long time, been in sales a long time, been in entrepreneurship long enough to know that there's always an angle out there, right? So what? Who cares? We're grown-ups here. We can see through the angles and we can make our own decisions. But particularly when it comes to high-ticket offers, like super high-ticket offers, meaning like this is relative, but 10000 and above, let's just say that. Um if somebody's recommending me join a program, a mastermind, a coaching program, something like that, and it's it's higher ticket on the on the bigger side, 10 grand, 100 grand, whatever. And there's an affiliate connection. It it makes me wonder if I'm actually getting an honest review of that product or if they're just trying to sell me it so they can get a commission. All right? I'm just skeptical, sorry. On lower ticket offers, like 5K or less, I kind of don't have that same suspicion. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Bottom line is, I see a lot of folks who do affiliate programs for high and low ticket offers. All of that's fine. Here's my position, what we've chosen to do at Elite Agency and in my done-for-you service agency that works with surgeons. Here with a bunch of digital agency marketing coaches like you and me, and then in the done-for-you service side that we have. We've chosen not to do any affiliates, any commissions ever. Okay, that's that's just us with one exception. We've toyed with it on some of our like e-learning courses and products. Um, we haven't executed on that yet, but we've kind of toyed with that topic because um, that really basic low ticket kind of stuff, um, you know, maybe so. Maybe there's a way to just let people out there do their thing and, and influence people with that. Cool, no big deal. Yeah, Noel, um, treat your customers the way you consume. Yeah, I think that's the best rule of thumb. Yeah, it is. You know, you know, well, and, and anybody else, that, that's really the point. For me, it doesn't make me feel great, so I don't do it. But I know lots of other people, and I have lots of really close friends in this business who, who do affiliates very effectively, and they're super straightforward. They're very honest. And there's nothing weird about it at all. I came from a financial, a financial services background, like selling insurances and stocks and bonds and mutual funds. And so the commission thing then felt a little like I, you know, could be accused of giving advice without the, the best interest of the client at heart. And so I actually moved away when I was in financial planning. I moved away from the financial planning 
world that was commission-based and started my own financial planning firm uh, back in 2008. And we did a fee-only structure in there. So people would pay as an annual fee, we'd give them advice. If we managed their assets, we would just take a percentage of the assets we were managing, and that's it. No commissions, no back-end motivation to make a certain buy or sell decision or recommend a certain product. I love the way that feels. It's simple, it's authentic, it's transparent, it's clear and clean. That's just me, okay? So if you're in affiliate marketing and you have built your agency or your business, your model on selling other people's products and services, yay you, do it with integrity. Awesome. If you have a product or service that you're selling and you want other people to promote it and sell it for you and you want to do affiliate marketing, yay you, do it. Why not, right? If you're in a position like, like I am where I just don't like the way it feels, then don't do it. Like, don't get sucked into it. Do your thing. There is always a place to, to find a market to connect to your product or service. There's a fit for everybody. There's a fit for everyone trying to sell their thing. There's a fit for everyone trying to buy it. And there's a fit for all the people who make the connections happen. It just has to be done the way you want to do it. Some people feel weird about webinars. Like I'm going to teach you information and then and then pitch a product at the end. We all know what webinars are about. I don't, that doesn't bother me for some reason. I like the free information. I really appreciate that. Um, you know, some people feel weird about that. It, it doesn't matter. Bottom line is do what works for you. Follow your, I hate, it sounds so Disney movie, but follow your heart and, and stay true to who you are when you market and sell your products. I think that's, that's basically what Noel's saying there. Um, do for others what you want done for you. And if that's your personality as affiliates, go for it. If your personality or background says, no, I don't like the way that feels, then do a different direction. Hope that helps. Last thing I want to say about affiliates. If you're getting into the affiliate marketing world, some people make a lot of money doing that. All right. Some people don't. Ultimately, the person who owns the big product or service is the big winner. Okay. The affiliate marketer is a tier down in that structure. So, if you have a product or service, or if you want to create your own thing, your own online course, mastermind, done for you service, coaching program, whatever, do it, follow that direction. Because it's really cool to have your own thing. If you're like, I don't wanna be a content creator, I just really enjoy bringing people together, helping them find a solution and, and handing it off to the person who provides a solution. And that's a great space to be as an affiliate marketer because then you don't have to do the content creation, you get to do the selling or the networking or the connecting. And, and that's a, probably a lot personality-based too, right? Um, I, I love creating, so I love the content creation side. Some people love the marketing and networking and connecting process. That's temperament personality. Be you and do what's best for the people around you based on what you want done for you. Hope that's simple. Great questions about affiliates. That's it for me, Noel. See you soon as well. Looking forward to today. We got lots of good stuff today in our mastermind stuff. So super excited about seeing you, Noel. I will talk to each of you later. Have a fantastic day, weekend, all that stuff. Get out there and do what's right for you and those around you. I think that's the golden rule today. Every day, right? All right. Talk soon. Bye, guys.